Hi, I'm Darlene Carmen. And I'm Doug Carmen. Welcome to the show. The artistry of today's guest involves two separate fields, and yet they often come together. You'll see what I mean as we meet Pechery Tamawang Benjamin. Her award-winning talents are in fruit and vegetable sculpture and photography. Hey, welcome to the show. Thank you. Now, when you came to Capitola in 2002, you brought a very special gift with you from Thailand. So tell us about the history of the traditional art of fruit and vegetable carving. Yes, it's, a, it's called Get Salak, and then it's originated in the palace about 700 years ago. So it, it's been kept in the palace for a long time. This is the art that for the, uh, the high class um, family to send the, their daughter to be a lady in the palace. Um, and then we, they learn how to cook, and then this is one of the art that they learn. Wow. And then they just opened to the public about 80 years ago. Oh my, yes. oh, very nice. So, well, who taught you this art form uh, initially? How did you get started? Yeah, started? I took the class, the private class, with the teacher who learned from the palace. And then she's the, um, quite a famous, and then she's the teacher in the, the vocational school in my hometown, Chiang Mai, oh. Thailand. Oh. How long did you take the class? It took us about 40 hours oh, class. My. Yeah, wow. and then I've been practicing for, this is my 13 years. 13 years, yeah. wow. So I still kept doing the, um, you know, original design, but I also developed my own. Oh, you developed your own style? Yes. Mm. yes. Well, you were hooked then after that, right? Yes, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's good to Ooh, share yeah. when you come out from, you know, to share mm -hmm. the art with other people. Well, in a few minutes, you're going to show us uh, some of your techniques. Yes. But I have a question. Um, you started photography. What's, what, what did you want to do? Uh, you know, you started, I guess, um, pho photographing some of your work. Is that how you got started with, with your photography? Oh, I started photography first. And I love it <laughs> oh, very you much. Oh, started it first, so yeah. you would already been. Oh, we didn't know that. And then when I um, start with this art, and then I just say, oh, I come come by the art together. So I start with photography, and then also I do, you know, photograph some other works so, as well. So that's yes, we've seen some beautiful. Yes. Well, you actually, uh, I think your part part of your uh, job, your work. Uh, you work part time yes. taking pictures of of the jewelry of jewelry. Yes, oh, my a favorite small, subject. very <laughs> tiny one. Mm. Yes. So so close up and very close up. Well, I have I have to ask you how you developed your photography. Now, did you take from somebody special to learn that, or did you learn it on your own? Yeah, I took the class first, and then been practicing, and then you know you learn all. Uh, from trying different techniques and learn from mostly from YouTube. <laughs> really? Yeah, and that's uh, and then also you know to enter into some photography, and then you it force yourself to be better. And you, I just um, always wonder how how did they take that photo, and then you can try on their own. It's more mostly like experimenting. Wow. Yeah, that's how you learn to be better. Hmm. Right? So. Well, now you're doing quite well in your photography. In fact, I have to say congratulations mm -hmm. on being a first place winner in the National Geographic okay. Photo Contest. Thank uh, you. Tell us about that. Yeah, so this is my first time to enter to the National Geographic wow. Photo Contest. <laughs> and then so it's a t they have the theme that's called My Thailand, My Story. It's about the Thailand photograph, and since I'm there, I have a lot of collection of my Thailand photograph. And this is the one that I enter, and then that's... You entered this one? Yeah, enter um, both of them, and this one, the Well, let's first talk price. about this one first. Now, what are we looking at? Yeah, the this temple? is 
Yeah, this is one of the temples from my hometown in Chiang Mai. Then I was standing on the side of the street, and then I was trying to photograph from different angles. And then I see the bus coming through, and then try to, <laughs> yeah. And then with low speed shutters, and then I just take the moment. Wow. Yeah. Really nice. So that's that's one of the first place so that I could first place that one first, first place. Oh, that, that was the one that was yeah. in the first place yeah. in the National Geographic. Yeah, and mm -hmm. then that um, take me to the I got to go to Thailand for oh, the great. trip with the National Geographic photographer and seven six other photographer from around the U.S. How exciting. Yeah, now, we went. what about this one behind us? Yeah, this one has got the editor pick from the photo contest. Yeah, yeah that's so, kind of clever. Yeah, how yeah. did you do this one? Tell us about this. Where were you standing and what happened? Yeah, this one is uh, a leaf friction from the temple. The temple just light up and then I was standing, um, was trying to different angle. And then I try with the glass ball that I saw from the magazines. And then I said, hmm, I could try this. And then so I brought the, the equipment with me. So and you then get a I, reflection. Yeah. And a rever an and upside yeah. down image. So it was on the table. And oh. I was lowering myself <laughs> down. And then you get all the reflection from the temple that's already gone. <gasps> and then after that, I saw, hmm, the water's around here, so I just pull the water over it, and I, so that's how I got the, wow. the photograph. Wow. Did this win anything, too? Should have. Did it win anything? This one got the editor pick, so from that same photo contest. Oh, that's, yeah. that's great. Yeah. So. Well, let's, uh, you brought some other pictures that mm -hmm. we, we can show, digital images, which we can show the audience, and I think some of these is, include your, your work. Yeah. yeah, let's take let's a, see some. Let's, let's see if we can take a look at some of those. Yes. Right. This mm, is a pair. A pair? Yeah. Yummy. Two pairs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Yes. And eggplant. Eggplant. Uh, wow. Mm -hmm. And uh, potato, red potato. This is a red potato. Kale. Yes. And lemon and lime. <laughs> And <laughs> radishes. Cute. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, you like that. And papaya. And pumpkin squash. My goodness. And daikon radish. Oh. And in the middle. Radishes again? Daikon, yeah. Daikon and then radish. in the middle, I painted with the food coloring. Ah, food yeah. coloring. Uh, like yeah. And avocado. Wow, this I would is never a recognize hard one. that. That's an <laughs> that's avocado. Hard. Yeah, she is. says that's a hard one. <laughs> yeah. And see. So you, mm. you do teach classes now. Yes, like we offer the class at Pacific Thai Restaurant. It's in downtown Santa Cruz. Yes. Mm. So, it's like uh, once, once a month, I think it is, that you Yeah, do? once a month. It's three hours per one session. And, yeah. Is it something that uh, you find people um, more are getting more interested in doing to brighten up their their the uh, centerpiece, the their table pieces and yes. for their table decorations? Yeah. Yes. Do you point. also design centerpieces and everything for weddings and yes. celebrations like that? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's one of my other creation. Wow. That we do. Oh. Yeah. No. Uh, is there a lot of people doing mm -hmm. this, the, the carving now in the United States? I, I know it started in Thailand quite a number of years ago. Yeah, it's... Is it catching? Do you find that more people are getting interested in doing this art form? Yeah, it started it. Um, Thailand is one of, one of the um, interesting ones with the flower design, but they've got this art in... Asia, in China, Japan, and other countries as well. China is mostly, mostly for the um, animal design, like dragon and other. But Thailand is mostly for the um, flower design. That's why I, I, that's why I mainly kept 
because I want to keep tradition away. But, you know, when I get order from some people, I could do some other things. Well, I have to ask you, I, I went online and checked out a few, mm -hmm. and I mean, we got into cutesy little animals, and yeah. I loved it, yeah. but the part that I didn't like was I didn't really like the plastic store-bought eyes. Um, what do you think about that? Do you, do you use those yourself? No, <laughs> I don't use that one. It's yeah. a different style. It's a different it's style. It's cute, yeah. it's funny, mm -hmm. cartoony, Yeah. but it, it's not like what you do. Yeah. Mm, my my work is mostly like when I um, meet with people at the art show and they will say your work is more intricate, you know. Very more, intricate work that yeah, you do. Details and so yeah. that's quite a compliment. Yeah. Well, so, I think yeah. the audience would like to see how, how the carving is done. So maybe we ought to go on over and let you carve some uh, vegetables and some. Sounds I think you have some fruits with. Yes, sounds well, we've like got a good some plan. Fruit to plan. Okay, <laughs> all right. Okay. Let's, let's go, go on over to the table. <laughs> sure, thank you. So what, what I have here, <laughs> there's uh, watermelons. Let's get a little contrast. And then I've got some, this is the black Spanish radish. That is. This is a radish. Yeah, this is. This is a radish. This is a radish. This is a radish. And this is, you let me carve this, which was so much fun, so all I know how to do. Yeah. <laughs> that was your famous this is yeah, this is. <laughs> That's all I've ever learned, it's and look what you did. Wonderful. Get. So and this is this is uh, from Mexico. Yeah, I think yeah, so. I've never seen mm. a black radish before. Yeah, That's also we unusual. have different kind of radish. This is the watermelon radish. Oh, so you painted this too? No, that's not painting it's oh, natural color it's natural it's red on the inside wow that and they that's call. a radish too you never yeah. well, that's out. a radish and which yeah. to me looking at the outside looks like a turnip yes <laughs> that <laughs> looks like a turnip right. yeah <laughs> i don't so know if you I can reach this design. one but i see yeah. another one here that yeah. is this another radish the watermelon radish this is another watermelon radish yes. wow so. okay yeah. Wow. So I try to carve with when I found something very interesting. I just, you know, excited to do and try to experiment with <gasps> it. That, oh, this that's is part a of the fun piece. one. Yeah. Oh. This would be like this. This watermelon would be like the ultimate. This would be like the prize if yeah. you could learn how to do that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So. Let's let's get started. I think. We yeah. Just had enough time. Yeah. So I oh, have. So you already started this. Yeah, part. I started it. This one, mm -hmm. the um, papaya, and then so. That's um, a large papaya. Yeah. <laughs> it's, 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 it sure is. Yeah, um. and then I do all freehand. <clears throat> all freehand, well, meaning. Well, that you don't use any pencils ahead of time? No. Even when you do your elaborate centerpieces? No. Wow. Yeah. Just do free hands because um, most likely I do it from the center first. Do, do you always oh. work freehand or do you ever uh, draw the design of what you pattern that you want to do ahead of time? No. You never do, do it. You no. She yeah. said just, no. Just no, comes, no. comes here. It, Magic. It builds. Yeah. Now, the designs that you create, um, are any of these your own designs that you do, or are these designs that you learned a long time ago and they're from memory? <laughs> yeah, I've learned f a lot from mostly memories, and then, but I still, you know, develop my own design because some technique that you got it. You know, the first one is not the perfect like this. So you be become a master, but I don't call myself master no, I, yet. I, I, but I'm sorry, I wanted to hear what she said. Yeah, you, you, you I'm don't still studying the new technique because I, you know, there's a lot of things that I haven't done yet, but you know, You're so far studying. I've been, yeah. But you don't have an instructor anymore. No, it's just mostly, um, 
you know. And you're the instructor, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I call myself a student still because, mm. you know, when I still have a lot to learn. Yeah. yeah because well, I did hear that there was some, uh, or I read that there were some um, vegetables that you haven't tried yet. Yes. So what would be something you haven't tried? Hmm, what would it be? Some... I don't know. <laughs> but, a, you know, when you yeah. go to like the the market. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I with me, I'm always trying to figure out what what some of the fruits and vegetables are. Uh, yeah. Everything's a learning experience for me. <laughs> yeah. So, um, would you have? Well, I paint with vegetables. Yes. And I get asked yeah. all the time, "Is there any vegetable you haven't painted with?" Yeah. And, and then they ask about fruits. What about fruits? And I found that some of the fruits are similar mm. to ones that I've already done. Do you find that, that some of the vegetables that you carve are similar to ones that you've used before? Yeah, sometimes, mm. yeah. Now, I, I notice you're, all, you're only using this one knife. Is that, is that your main tool? That yeah, you this is my main tool. And do you have I any use. others? Or is this, mm -mm, this oh, you is don't have any one. others at all, huh? No, this wow. is just one. So you get all of your unique patterns and things that you've you, you've learned to do. Yeah. With that one tool. Yes. Now yeah. she was telling me earlier that she does sharpen it. I, Doug loves knives. Oh. And, and, <laughs> and he likes to sharpen. Them. <laughs> you gotta have a sharp knife. To yeah, do any for job sure. Right. You yeah. gotta have a sharp knife. This knife is um, I just sharp it as a regular knife. Hmm. Yeah. So. It's been serving well because it's, um, you know, pointed and sharp, uh, pointed, and you can go very details on those. It must yeah. be hard for you to judge, though, as, as I'm watching you go around this. Mm -hmm. I, I know with my little, where's my little radish? <laughs> <laughs> I started out really well with a couple nice big bold slices, and then I ran out of room, and I have this lame piece here that yeah. is... How do you judge that as you're going around? You're just doing it by instinct or what? Yeah, I just look it through, you know, the overlook at... The whole um, thing. Yeah, the whole, the whole thing. And then so if it go too much, and then you just, you know, have to adjust it or so add you know something with it. adjust the pattern. Yeah, so now I'm gonna finish it with That's maybe beautiful. some leaves and yeah. This one it take a while. It took about an hour and a hour half. To carve that? Oh, yeah, yeah, an hour and a half to do that one. Oh, so. easily. And uh, how long will that last in that shape? Do you know if it's fun for a party or something? Yeah, for it lasts through the party, eight or ten hours if you open it. But if you carve it and then you save it in the refrigerator, it lasts oh, save about it a, a week. A week, huh? Yeah, and of course, if anybody eats it, their their name is mud. You know, you don't want them to eat your beautiful masterpiece. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For um, some people, they order it just as a, you know, a, a centerpiece cake. or something. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes they all they order it just as a cake instead of, you know, order the cake. They use this and cut it open hmm. for the party. Wow. Yes. Now, like what that. about talking about preserving and stuff, putting it in the refrigerator, that's a good idea. Do you ever mm. use uh, lemon juice? Uh, that's something that we've done like with apples and that when you don't want them to turn brown or do you spray it with anything? Um, the apple, yes, for sure, but this one doesn't you, you turn brown. You don't have to then, it holds its yeah. color, doesn't brown yeah. from So you use lemon juice? Lemon juice could help to, pre to prevent the Brown. Squeeze it like on the, there, yeah. or you put it in a bath. Put it on the bath. Mm. Yes. Mm. So, yeah. That helps uh, for a while. I see you get working pretty fast with that knife. Have you ever uh, had an accident <laughs> and cut yourself? <laughs> yes, a little bit here and there when you're not paying attention. Right? <laughs> or how about if you make a mistake? Uh, is there a way to fix mistakes or? Vegetable glue. Well, you know, if you Vegetable accidentally... glue. Vegetable glue? <laughs> Vegetable glue? Oh, I didn't no. know that they had that. <laughs> I've yeah. never tried it, but I've heard about it. So, really? Yeah. Oh. I so, didn't know they had that. No. <laughs> you might try it. But you've gotten pretty, pr 
pro proficient, so you, yeah. you must then make an alteration if you make a mistake. Yeah, I've never tried it. Vegetable but, glue, boy, that's a, that's yeah, a new one right? on me. Something. Well, so far, <laughs> you haven't made any mistakes, so we're doing good right now. Yeah. Well, you can always change the design. Yes, you always. I think that's what a lot of people do in art. Either. Yeah, like you're, you're the artist, you know, you're working It was going to be this, it. but yeah. <laughs> you change it into something else. Now, yeah. I have to ask you about pumpkins. You know, here, pumpkins are a big deal. We carve, we, everybody carves well. Let's see, Doug cheats now. He he now draws. Oh. The, the, he takes a, a marker pen and draws. Well, before I cut it, it, yeah, I want to yeah. see what it's going to look like. <laughs> And you don't do any of that. You you you're all is, is free. You're freehand, and you do you do not draw your no. pattern no. before yeah. you get started. Yeah, I'm, I'm I call myself. I'm not the master for the pumpkin yet. I'm, I don't conquer them yet. Oh, <laughs> so you don't carve pumpkins. Then. I I carve some. I carve some. Don't. But, but not scary. I, well, for the type not of scary. work you not do, scary. it doesn't. Not uh, scary. Do, do not, it not like what we're used to with the scary teeth. And yeah, all that. I put the um, <laughs> no designs oh, that's beautiful. on these. I think I would call oh. this finished piece for now, so I could show. So that gorgeous. would be like a centerpiece for part of a fruit mm. bowl or something that you might want. Yes. Yeah. And then so. you look for the animals, find some animals that like to eat the... <laughs> Chicken, right? <laughs> I, I put things like this outside and it disappears. I don't know. I don't know who eats it, but somebody <laughs> comes around and eats it, you know. That's very nice. <laughs> this is very lovely. Well, yeah. what are some of the other fruits that you carve with? You, uh, you have some here. You have... Uh, a sw uh, just. This is a, a yam. Sweet potato or yeah, a yam. I don't think that's potato. a fruit. Yeah, but yam. <laughs> yeah. So I do fruit and vegetables. And, and yeah, a lot, lot. Of, it sounds like you do a lot of fruits. And, yes. Uh, yeah. And, and so of? apples, we do apples here. Uh oh, I just ruined your display. Oh uh -oh. no, we do some apples. <laughs> so in the class, this is the first class that you will learn. We won't so I could done. show, I could <laughs> show you a little bit. Okay. Oh. Yeah. We cut these in half. Do you want me to move this out of the way? Oh, sure. Thank you. Yeah, uh, we have five minutes good. yet. Yes. So, <laughs> I know. Time goes by when you're having fun. <laughs> Are you having fun? <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> Let's have a party. <laughs> I like to. All right. So, shape these. Now, now take notes on this because. Next time you come in here with some food, we're, we're going to bring some. <laughs> <laughs> you have to carve it next mm -hmm. time, okay? Yeah. <laughs> this is not too fancy one, but it's the good way to encourage your kids to eat some vegetables. Yes, right? that is a very good idea. Right? Absolutely. And then, like some kids want to see a little bit of the little leaves in there. Say, what is that? What do you start your students out with? Um, with tomato. Tomato? Got, tomato? Yes, some tomato. It's so soft. It's pretty Swoops. soft. And then you, um... Was there a purpose or, or a reason for using a tomato or...? Yeah, it's just, um, the beginning class that people, people could, um, you know, to... This is the new tool for them, oh, for the so, first oh, beginning. Oh, so to controlling the yeah. tool, it's easier. Yeah, with so that. when they first start, they, some people got nervous. Sure. I oh. said, don't get nervous, it's, it's just a practice. So sure. when they come and grab the knife, and then you say, okay, mm. let's do yeah, tomato. You don't want them to cut them Yeah, <laughs> let's do tomato, and then everybody does. Well, tomatoes are very easy then to, yeah. to carve. Yeah, so the beginning um, class, and we do what? apples. What is the most difficult fruit you have you, that you carve? I would say avocado. Avocados? And, yeah. oh, and why is that? Because it has a real hard skin and a soft inside? No, but yeah, it's very soft. Mm -hmm. Inside. Yes, inside. Mm -hmm. So I peel the skin first, and then you carve it from. But in the meat, it's very soft. So I have to control my knife slowly. Mm. Well, yeah, and then once you smush it, do you it try it. to get avocados that aren't fully ripened yet? That's are they kind of hard because we're I know about that. out of time. But I, I need to learn how to do a radish. Other than this, okay. could you show me? Do, I, we we have like a minute and a All half. All right, <laughs> so we can do it very quickly. Bye. Oh, we're gonna. 
Okay. Yeah. Putting your knife in there. And oh, this is an easy one to make. Yes. Well, a flower. I mean, I got to do something besides this. Maybe I, I think I could do this. I yeah. think. Yeah. And then this one you could do with tomato as well. You know. Oh, you can do that with the tomato. Yes, with oh, look at this. Lord. Look at this. You're gonna get yeah. two, so you have something like that. You see? Yeah. Uh -huh. This is the easy one. Oh, I think I could do yeah. that. And then you just put it. <laughs> on and then you stick. put it on a on yeah. a little yeah. skin yeah. like this. Put it on this, and then yeah. you have. Oh, now you got a flower. Okay, guys. Yeah, this is yeah, five. Now you can again. make your, <laughs> your, your bouquet. <laughs> this is a fast and easy one. Oh, and it looks pretty, right? So, wouldn't you say that people should start out with something easy and maybe work themselves up to something a little bit? You yes. Know? So we learned that they, if you get a, and now it can't be too ripe. You want a tomato that's fairly really fresh or it's fresh, but it's it uh, hasn't ripened to the point where it's mushy, right? Yes. Yeah, and then yeah. you can start, and you don't have trouble with the innards, which is real runny and juicy, running mm -hmm. out, or? It's kind of juicy, so. Juicy. <laughs> <laughs> what would you like, <laughs> right? <laughs> From the food. <laughs> uh, what do your students like the best? What do, what do they really get into when they're working with you? What do they, wh when do you see that spark of enjoyment on your students' face? Um, they enjoy them to with the watermelon at the oh, end of like the class. Oh, they like that. That's a, yeah. that's a big one. <laughs> that, well, that's a real challenge. It's a little challenge for them. Huh? I said, don't be discouraged because this is your first one. So you know when they can yeah. carve that watermelon, so, they've graduated, right? Yeah. That's kind of the final so, assignment. We're, yes. we're out of time. Mm -hmm. This was so much fun. The time just whizzed oh, by. But yeah. I, I want to thank you so much for showing us this yes. and being with us today. Okay. Uh, and I want to thank you for watching the show. Yes. Uh, it was a lot of fun. I, I hope you learned something how to do it and you can check the email or the website there to um, find out more information about classes thanks for watching yeah. the show thank watch you, again Darlene. thank you <laughs> oh, this, is, that this, this is so much fun but yeah. you know learning about these radishes here uh, that's just a,